Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here from Blind on the Move, and I am a vision rehab therapist. And today I'm going to be talking about Braille bricks by Lego and how they can be a helpful tool for somebody who wants to learn or practice Braille. So I'm going to show you what's inside this box here and what it's comprised of and how it can be a helpful tool for that learning and practicing of Braille. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to dive into the Braille bricks now. So I'll be as descriptive as I can. Hopefully I do an okay job with that. On my table here, I have a box of Braille bricks by Lego. So I've opened this a few times. The box is getting a little bit beat up. But there's a cool few things on the box I wanted to describe. It tells you how many pieces there are. There's 287 pieces. And under the top left Lego sign, there's a Braille bricks, which is actually has Braille for the R's and the L as well as some braille description of what is going on in the box. Um, there's some examples of the pieces in the bottom right corner, and then they just have this display of different, looks like city pieces, some music notes and things like that. And then I just wanna show you the back of the box pretty quickly here. It has a picture of all the different pieces that come in the box and how many of each piece there is, as well as the two um, flat board parts you can put the pieces on and a little detacher tool. So that's the back of the box. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the box and look inside here. And the first thing I have here on the top is similar to what was printed on the back of the box. Another kind of key card on what pieces come in the box and how many of them there are. So it goes through A through Z. Then it has just a general full cell piece, uh, caps and different uh, punctuation. Um, as well as on each piece, there is the letter it represents, as well as a number. If it's one of these top row here, A through J, representing the different numbers. Again, there's some Braille on this little instruction key card. There's a QR code that you can scan into to get more information. And that's a pretty helpful tool to know exactly how many pieces are in this box and what pieces are in it. So now in the box, we have two gray kind of building squares uh, where you can put the pieces on. And I'll show you that in a second. So now underneath that in the box, I have all the different pieces that are scattered about. They do come in plastic bags, but those are long gone. So I just want to show you a few of the pieces. I'm just going to pick up some randomly. Here we have a white Braille brick representing the letter T. So it has the raised bumps like you normally would find in Legos and then a print letter T on it. Let me grab another one as an example. Here we have the letter Z, so printed Z, and then it has the, the, um, the dots using the Lego as representing the letter Z. So I just want to give you a little example here of how these pieces can be combined to spell words as a great way of practicing. So the first piece I have here is a green D. It also has the number four. Next one here I have is a red O. I'm going to put that next to the D piece on the gray square. And then lastly here, I have a blue G. It also has a seven on there. And I'm going to put that next to the O. So I put them all on the gray square and then I can practice feeling for the different letters. So I'm feeling now the green D, the red O, and the blue G. So that's just one example of how the letters can be put together to spell words and practice different words and combinations. All right, here's one last example of how these Braille bricks can be used to practice and learn Braille. This time I created words. So the first word I have on the gray square is hi. So it has a green H and a blue I, hi. And then my, so there's a space in between my, another space, name. And these are all in the different Braille brick pieces. Here we have a blue I, a red S for is, and then we have Mike. And this can also be a great way of tracking the different braille pieces and dropping down a line. So there's a lot of things you can do with this, especially if you're creative, and to really develop and practice those braille skills. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful in learning a little bit more about braille blocks by Lego and how they could be a helpful tool for learning or practicing braille. And if you're an instructor like myself, hopefully you learned a little bit about how Braille bricks might be a good tool for teaching either your clients or your students Braille. So I included a link to the Braille blocks in the video description at the bottom of this video if you're interested in where you could purchase them. And again, thank you so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day.